natin ang ating MVP of the match, Jovelin Gonzaga with 18 attacks and 3 blocks. So, ng second and third set, parang kuha niyo na yung laro eh. Ano ba nangyari during the end game? Siguro na sa stage pa lang kami na nag-adjust. And siguro yung ito yung first game kasi namin ngayon. And since galing kami ni Ate Rachel, di ba? So, kakabalik. Well, no, actually, no excuses. Kasi credit naman sa kalaban. Sobrang ganda din ang may laro nila. And siguro sa part na namin, maraming lapses ang nangyari sa amin. Na parang sobrang daming kinumit namin na error. So, yun. And of course, you have a couple of tough matches coming up as well. Ano pa ba yung mga improvements na sa tingin mo kailangan nyo pang gawin? Sobrang dami pa. Actually, lagi ko naman sinasabi sa mga interviews ko, ang, train, ang volleyball naman kasi non-stop naman learning eh. So yun, mas, mas, mag, mag improve pa kami sa lahat ng departments. But bago tayo matapos na ating coverage, balikan natin yung mga ibang highlights nitong ating laro. At pakikita natin, Signal HD laban sa Santa Lucia. They thought they were gonna run rush out over the Lady Realtors, and it didn't happen today. Yeah, the first set, na buhay yun ang Lady Realtors because they got the momentum first. The energy level was up, but then nagising ang, ang Signal HD Spikers in the second, third. Nako, hanggang sa talagang they applied their net defense. Walang nagawa ang offense ng Santa Lucia. And in the fifth set, really, it was a tight match. Both teams did an excellent job, both in the net and floor defense, as you can see in the stats here. Ang konti ng difference. Look at that. In the blocks, one point. Attacks, one point. Yung serve this aces, yan ang medyo talaga namang very important. And I think Rachel Dakis had a number of service aces there in that last set, which really helped in the win, uh, in the win today.